EC17 News on KMIZ. It's a, it's a very, very sad day in Hawaii. Um, it's devastating. And I know many families on Maui are struggling right now, as, as well as many family members across the state. We start with the devastation out of Hawaii this morning, where the death toll has risen to 36 overnight. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Erica McGuire. Here in mid-Missouri, it's going to be a pretty nice day, and Chance will have a look at your forecast in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to start with ABC 17's Isabella Roberts, who has been following the latest on the fires in Hawaii for the last several hours. Now, Isabella, the tragedy just continues to unfold as much of Maui goes up in flames. Erica, over 10,000 people remain without power in Maui, and the island has seen widespread cellular outages. The fires have destroyed hundreds of structures on the island, including homes and businesses, with thousands of people being displaced. In the latest update by the County of Maui, there are no containment numbers of the fires at this time. They are requesting additional help from Honolulu Fire. And 30 U.S. Army service members arrived yesterday night and are conducting search and recovery efforts this morning. The death toll has risen overnight to 36 people. More than 11,000 people visiting the island were flown out of Maui yet Wednesday, with more expected to leave early this morning. Over 600 people will be staying overnight at the Kahului Airport while they wait for early morning flights. Several military helicopters have been sent to the Big Island and Maui to help firefighting and search and rescue efforts. These military helicopters have dropped over 150,000 gallons of water in Maui. As of last night, the U.S. Coast Guard has de was deployed to help 14 people in Lahaina who fled to the wa into the water for safety due to the fires. Now, this is a developing story, so we will be sure to update you on air and online as soon as new information becomes available. All right, thank you, Isabella.